if I really focus, I can occasionally move my thumb. Will Lautzenheiser received the gift of two anonymously donated arms, and the donor's parents wrote an emotional letter. They wrote, our son gave the best hugs. We pray that you make a wonderful recovery and that your loved ones will be able to enjoy your warm embrace. That was the, the most um, beautiful note to get. And with the gift of these arms, he can now hug his partner. I'm going to live up to them. I'm going to live up to this gift. In October, a team of 13 surgeons took the donated arms and attached it to the 40-year-old patient. An almost nine-hour surgery had a few hiccups, but none that made Dr. Simon Talbot worried. As far as these surgeries go, this is about as smooth as, as, smooth as it gets. Lautzenheiser became a quad amputee after a life-threatening infection forced doctors to amputate. And Dr. Talbot said he's becoming more and more confident with the procedure since this is the third double transplant at Brigham and Women's. We're starting to figure out different ways that we can improve on what we do and different ways that we can uh, make the procedure safer and faster and more efficient. Right now, Lautzenheiser is focused on rehabilitation in his arms. After four hours of therapy in the hospital, his partner Angel helps at home with passive therapy, which you can see a demonstration here. Now this is a quick version of it. And together, they leave Brigham and Women's Hospital hoping for a quiet Thanksgiving.